everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen, you are watching Stitch With Repeat, and today I am doing my video all about my Make Nine projects that I have planned for 2022. So if you're not sure what Make Nine is, then it's basically setting out nine patterns that you really hope to sew up in the coming year. And then by the end of the year, you can hopefully look back and see how well you did. Now I know there's lots of varying thoughts on whether this is a good way or not a good way. For me personally, I tried it a couple of years ago and I think I managed about three or four of the projects. If I can find the image, I'll pop it here. And I didn't really try it at all last year. But this year I have more definite ideas in my head. So I thought that the whole idea, the whole premise of the Make Nine in popping those nine up and hoping to tick them off as the year goes on would work really well because I want to accomplish these particular patterns. So I have set out my Make Nine, got myself a little notebook for the coming year for all things sewing related. So whenever I do anything to do with sewing, I'm gonna pop it down in here. I notice a lot of people who do YouTube refer back to notes on what they made in January, what they made in February. I've never been that organised, but <laughs> hopefully I'm going to be this year. So the very first thing, as I say, that I've popped in here is my plans for Make Nine. Now, I am quite proud of myself because not only have I got nine patterns, which I'm fairly happy I can and will do, fast forward to next year when I say didn't do any off the make nine <laughs> but I've also got some of them I've already actually got fabrics lined up as well so I'm halfway there really just need to actually make the patterns so I'll go through and do apologize if I'm looking down but I've got them written down and I will go through what my patterns are and what fabric if I've already chosen it I'm planning to do so with further ado I will start with number one now this is a pattern that I won on Instagram and it is the Valdivia sweater and it is by Alyssa Threads and I have a fabric from the Sewist fabric shop that I bought specifically with the intention of making this pattern and it is this really gorgeous, I'm not sure how well it will show up on camera, but it is called a True Knit. And it basically looks, as the name suggests, like a sort of jumper fabric. It's got a, oh, see if I can show you better on the camera how it looks. If not, like I said, it's got a knitted like jumper texture and look to it and I got this in navy and I am really excited to make this into the Valdivia sweater. I love of course we all love the big puffy sleeves and I just think if I make it in this lovely true knit it really feels like something that you would buy in a knitwear section in a shop. So I have had that fabric for a little while from the lovely Han at the Sewist fabric shop. So the Valdivia sweater is my first make that I want to do. So number two on my make nine is the Rosa shirt by Tilly and the Buttons. Now I did put a video out a while back with a fabric haul where I mentioned that I might well make the Rosa shirt, which I have not made, even though I've had the pattern for quite a while, not made one yet. But I bought this really fantastic hands fabric where it's got them doing all different gestures with the hands, I believe, and obviously I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, that I got this from Frumble Fabrics. And just so you know, everything I talk about, I'll pop in the description below. And, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. And I've recently discovered how to put in chapters. So if I'm talking about a specific pattern, I will mark that as well. And hopefully that means you'll see it pop up and you can go to the specific parts you're interested in if you like. So yes, I'll go back to what I was saying. Rosa shirt with this fantastic different hand gesture fabric. And I had this blue and green colorway and then I have slightly less, I can't remember how much, of this brighter sort of rainbow colourway. So I was thinking things like maybe the pockets 
I don't even know if there's cuffs without looking at the pattern, but cuffs, collars, etc. I might do in this and then do the main part of the shirt in the blues and greens. So that's number two. Third on my list is a very popular pattern that I've wanted to do for quite some time. It's a Tilly and the Buttons pattern from her second book, which is Stretch, and it is the Freya top. Now you can do this in a top or a dress. I haven't made it yet, so I'm going to do the top first. I've got a couple of fabrics I'm already thinking of. This one I'm hoping will show up is a lovely blue and grey striped knit, which I picked up from the lovely Angela, who is Devon Threadtails, when she had D stash. And um, I obviously, I love a good stripe. You'll probably know if you follow me, I have a lot of stripey fabric. And the other fabric I'd like to try is another <laughs> blue stripe. And this one is a rib knit type. And I have actually got this in another colorway, which you may remember from a previous video in like a pink and purple. But I wanna try doing the Freya top out of both of these stripey patterns. And I've seen so many people make the Freya and they all say it's a really great, easy make and it seems to be quite a stable in a lot of people's wardrobes. And it is one that I've had on my radar for quite some time. So that's number three. Number three is actually the item I am most likely to make first because it is the Lander Pants by the True Bias Company. Hopefully I've popped in a photo. I've had this pattern again, <laughs> like a lot of my patterns for a long time. But I recently got this gorgeous, brushed cotton twill from Rainbow Fabrics. Again, it will all be linked down below. They may well not have this particular fabric because their fabrics come in and go out very fast. But I managed to pick up about two and a half metres of this, like I say, gorgeous um, mustard brushed cotton twill. And it looks like this. I'm hoping the colour comes up correctly. It's got a really lovely soft feel and it's got a slight nap. So the reason I say I'll probably do these lander pants first is because I have already cut out the lander pants at my sewing session at Make before we broke up for Christmas. So I have these and so when I go back next week they are the first project I am planning to work on. So I'm very excited to get on with those and hopefully be sharing them on my channel very soon. So the fifth one I am planning is the Zadie jumpsuit. Obviously I am very behind because everybody under the sun has already made one, if not numerous <laughs> versions of this. I have had the pattern quite some time. I actually had it so long that when they had a sale on, I bought it again because <laughs> I completely forgot that I already owned it. So. I obviously want to make it. I don't know what fabric to make it with yet. So that is one that I'm gonna have a good rummage through my stash, but I'm really looking forward to trying it because so many people have made it and they always look fabulous. So that is number five. So for number six, I want to make a dress and the dress in question is the Darling Rangers dress by Megan Nilsson. If you follow me, you will have already seen that I bought a kit with the Megan Nilsson dress pattern and everything you needed to make it. And the kit came with a blue chambray, which I am definitely wanting to make because it looks just like the pattern image. But the one I also want to make is with this absolutely gorgeous rainbow check fabric, which I purchased from Stitch and Ink, and you will probably have seen all over Instagram and all over YouTube because it is very popular. And I've had this for a little while and I really wanted to make a dress. And the plan, as I say, is the Darling Ranges. And I think I will make the version, I want to make the version with the buttons all the way down. And um, yeah, I think that will look fabulous. So number seven on my make nine is actually seven A or B <laughs> because it's a skirt. I definitely want to make a skirt, but I am torn between the Bobby skirt by Tilly and the Buttons and the Brumby skirt by Megan Nilsson. I have both the patterns. 
but I will either make one of them or hopefully the plan will be that I will make both. But either way, number seven will be a skirt. So if it is the bobby skirt, I am thinking this really lovely needle cord in this grey. I have no clue <laughs> where I got this from. This has been in my stash well over a year. Um, but I have plenty of that and I think it would look lovely. I really like the idea of a skirt in this grey. I think it will go with a lot of my clothes and I would love to see this with the navy blue Valdivia sweater that I'm planning to make. So as I say, if I do the bobby, I'm thinking this grey needle cord. But if I make the brumby, I have a choice. So I have no preference at the moment. But I have a couple of chambres, which I believe I got from Felicity Fabrics a while ago. One is in this sort of denim blue colour. So I'm hoping that comes up on screen. And yeah, like I say, I mean, it's a really basic standard uh, chambre in the blue. I think that would look lovely. I've seen a lot of people do the Brumby in that. Or I have the same fabric, but in the black colourway. So it's not a dark, dark black. It's more of a a slate grey black, isn't it? Um, but yes, I think the Brumby in either of those or being really optimistic, both of those would be fantastic. So that's number seven. So number eight is a blouse and I would like to make the Geneva blouse by Liesel and Co. I have quite a few what I would call blousey fabrics and I'm not sure which one I'm going to make them with. So that will be something further down the line that I will decide on. But I love the look of this Geneva blouse. I think it looks for a blouse, for me, who hasn't really done many blouses, a nice straightforward, but with a fantastic look at the end. So I do want to have more blouses if I'm doing plain skirts and plain trousers. I think you can really dress them up with a nice blouse. And as I say, the plan at the moment is the Geneva. So when I have got an idea of what fabric I make, I will probably put it in a video later on. And then finally, another blouse for number nine. However, this one I have definite plans for. So I have become recently involved with the lovely Han at the Sewist Fabric Shop. As you saw, I bought that true knit. I've bought lots of fabrics from Han. She has the most gorgeous fabrics. She originally started out as a specialist in plain fabrics. So if you wanted plain, you just headed to her site. But she's also ventured in some gorgeous prints recently. I have agreed to do a blog for the wonderful Han and my blog is going to be the patina blouse and you may well have seen that it's been popping up on lots of people's Instagram on lots of people's plans it is by the Friday Pattern Company and I have got this gorgeous navy again from Han and it's a tensile twill I'm not sure how well it will show up but I just wanted you to see it's got a really lovely drape to it and it's again it's really soft and um, obviously I do like the navy I just think the patina blouse in this will be really lovely and I do like my navy blues and as I say the fun thing about this one is this is a collaboration with the Sewers Fabric Shop and I will do a blog for them so that will hopefully be coming up in the not too distant future. So that is it for the first part of this video. As always, I'd love to hear your feedback. I really love reading all the comments and often I get extra or new ideas from you guys. So please do comment what you think or if you've made any of these patterns or what you think of the fabrics, um, pop them in the comments below, that'd be fantastic. So the second part of this video, I've just got a small fabric haul to show you. Now you'll recall in my last video at the end of the year, my plan for this year was to sew as much as possible from my existing stash of fabrics and patterns. So these fabrics are actually ones that I ordered 
before I recorded that video, so before the end of the year. So I'm not already breaking it. <laughs> this is fabrics that I ordered last year, but obviously they have arrived since I filmed my last video. So the first delivery was from the lovely Andrea and Keris at Beyond the Pink Door, and they had a sale on and I'm on their Facebook page, which meant that we actually were lucky enough to be able to get into the sale a little bit earlier because she gave us a code on her Facebook page. Now I got myself a pattern and a fabric while I was on there and they were both reduced. The pattern is not for the fabric, the pattern is just for whenever and then the fabric, again, no clue what I'm making with it yet. <laughs> so the pattern is this Meredith dress from Sew so Over It. Um, so I hope you can see that there and the line drawings there. Now this is for knit fabrics and it's a lovely looking um, wrap dress. I really want to try some wrap dresses in the coming year. And I believe this was reduced because I think this is the old style of the patterns because so over it have sort of rebranded recently. So I managed to pick this up for a really good discount and I'm really looking forward to trying that out. I uh, can't see on first glance what the difference is between the two versions i think it may be the length of the sleeves but um yeah it's a knitted dress with the wrap effect so i picked that up and then the other thing i picked up and i i will double check and put it on the screen if i'm wrong but i think i got a meter and a half of this gorgeous viscose in this animal print and the background i'm hoping will come up really well on screen is this sort of blue grey colour. I'm hoping it shows up. And then obviously you've got those fantastic bright orange, blue and black animal print all over it. Again, it's got a really lovely drape to it. And I have no clue, as quite often with my fabric buying, hence why I'm going to cull how much I buy this year no clue what I'm going to make again I just I just loved it so those were from beyond the pink door this one I got from stitch and ink which I believe again she had in the sale and I've seen all over the place I think I got three meters of this with the intention of making a dress and it is this gorgeous viscose with these stars all over it so as you can see, it's got a black background and then it's got gold and silver stars. And again, the drape on that is absolutely gorgeous. And I think, like I say, I'm pretty sure I got three meters and the plan will be a dress. So I'm sure in a later video, I will go more into detail when I know what I want to make. So that was Stitch and Ink. I also got the um, viscose of the stars in the black and gold and silver in a white or a cream actually viscose so I have that one here which again obviously just like the other one it's got a gorgeous drape and it's got these gold and black stars all over a cream background and I got this one in the sale from Snapdragon Fabrics so I'm hoping to make a dress probably for sort of summertime because obviously it's a lovely colour for the summer. So in another sale, which I think was probably a Boxing Day sale, I got this fabric on Fabric Godmother and it is this really fabulous <laughs> print of viscose linen with these purple tigers in the, I think in the green grass. Um, yeah. Again, you know me and Prince, I absolutely love this. I even debated while I was filming this whether this would make a good Zadie. I know, obviously, it's a bit in your face, but I like in your face. I like loud and proud. If I can't sew what I want to sew, then why do I bother? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty sure I picked up three metres of this and I absolutely love. I'm hoping you can see those fantastic purple tigers and I absolutely fell in love with this one. So as it was in the sale, I had to get it. <laughs> so that was from Fabric Godmother. And then lastly, this is a company that I follow on Instagram. I think I entered a few competitions that they had 
and therefore I started following them. It's a company called, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Nico Nico, and they are out of Singapore. So they had a sale, the same as everyone else. The sale they had meant that even with the postage, which I think was approximately about nine pounds to send from Singapore, it was still really good value. And I just wanted to show you, I hope this is showing, they came wrapped with this gorgeous tie around them of fabric, tied in a bow. So isn't that lovely? So obviously I'm gonna have to stop while I undo this now because I wanted to show you how that looked. But I got these two, can't remember how much they cost. I know they weren't, they weren't bad at all in the sale. They're very, very lightweight and I hadn't seen anything similar to them. I'm hoping we'll get a decent summer so that I can make something worthy with them. Okay, so they are very lightweight and sheer, which I think will be lovely for like a cami or something. And this one here has got these, and I might have that upside down. Oh, I think it might be multi-directional. It's got these flowers, and I'm hoping you can see, it's got these sort of bluey silver birds throughout as well. And I'm not sure, I think it's meant to be, I don't know which way it goes up, <laughs> but it's beautiful. So I got a metre and a half of this, and I hope to make a floaty cami. My thinking is that we will get a lovely summer and I can wear that down here in the beautiful Devon. And then the second one I got will be no surprise to you because it's a blue fabric. Again, it's a very lightweight, so it's quite see-through. So I'm not 100% sure. This was obviously a bit of a trial because I've never ordered them, but it has these. Oh, I obviously got more of this one. And it is blue. And then it's got different colours. I thought it looked really like a sort of watercolour painting on these. And I just love the design of those. I'm not sure if they're trees or flowers, like a sort of blossom on this. And again, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to make with them, but I just couldn't resist. I thought these two fabrics were just really different. I have got more of this one, so it'd be interesting to see. Um, what I can make. So uh, yeah, so you can see I've got the sort of creamy background with the black and the silvery blue birds and then the pale blue with all the different blue colour blossoms on them. And that was from, as I say, Nico Nico. That's it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to show you today. I did just want to say about my um, notebook that if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already have seen. My plan, as I say, is to write down what I make or when I start makes or ideas or video ideas, anything sewing related. But another thought I had is that when I buy fabrics or patterns this year, I am going to write them down. So I write down, obviously, who I got it from, what I got and how much it cost. And that way, I think I am more likely to be careful and not just buy all the lovely fabrics because if I'm actually keeping a track of how much I'm spending I think I'll be uh, quite shocked. <laughs> so the plan is to use this to write that down to stop me buying quite so much fabric and patterns in 2022. <laughs> so that was my make nine and my little mini fabric haul for you guys. As always please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do give me your feedback below. I love to read it. Check out all the other make nines that are going on at the moment and hopefully that will give you maybe some ideas if you are thinking of joining in with the make nine and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.